great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Houston Cougars and the Xavier Musketeers. Number three he possesses the maturity as a senior leader and allows his team to feed off of it. The presence of a senior player like him is undeniable. The Musketeers will no doubt have to find an answer for him. The Musketeers know this isn't going to be an easy one. What's the key for them tonight, Dick? Hey, the keys for them tonight are simple. First of all, I look at the point guard to step up tonight and really take control of his club. Second, reward your big man for running the court. Get him some easy buckets in transition. Finally, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action. See what's in store for us. He launches the bomb. He shows the sweet touch. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They work the perimeter. Gave it up. Whitehead handles the pass. Shoots. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Up and inside. In the paint. Good athletic move. Very athletic. We got great athleticism. Manley handles the feed. Fakes a jumper. He makes a nice shot fake. Ball down low. Puts it on the floor. It's around a fadeaway. They go into the low block. Marries it home. Now that's what I call showtime. You better believe it, baby. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. They work it around the perimeter. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student section looks like they're having a great time. is emotionally fired up. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Here's a double team. Stolen away. And then coming the other way. It's not uncommon to have a few high rises on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Now trying to feed the low block. Stolen away. Fast break opportunity here. Jumps into the defender. And he scores despite the hack. Pitt receives the ball. They move it into the front court. Down inside. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he go? Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. What's in first, Dick, and works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Up and inside. Dunn receives the pass. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Gave it up. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Buries it. Feed the low block. Gets the rejection. Got the high pick. 
They push it up on the break. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call cool timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Turnover City now always really the gate in the offense. He's money with the shot. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He attempts the three. He drains the bucket. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I think did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Both teams looking to get things going here. Pushing that basketball. Wide open for the shot. Three gets it to go. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The skip pass is picked off. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Goes up for two. I think does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brian. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I think the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Post player flashing. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Down in the low post, defensively, great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Second count is getting close, Brad. Fronts in first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. On the inside. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Basket falls despite the contact. Takes the pass in the paint. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Drains it. To draw some contact. Great play to take that to the basket. He 
He goes for three. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. And he'll kick it back outside. He launches a three. Xavier are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Look at speed. I tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. This is the team's first trip to the free-throw line. Gets the first shot. on that free throw line, and that's major. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Now they work it around the perimeter. Sets it. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. Set that screen away. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside-outside action. He shoots. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They look like they're having a blast. He drains it. move's not going to work against a defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Houston have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. it around the arc. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Working it around the perimeter. There's a bad pass right to the defender. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's stick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. He'll visit the charity strike. He got it. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Left him a nylon. MBN. The Musketeers' composure is dropping by the second right now. Hey, they're doing things that a JV team wouldn't do. Emotionally, they are definitely down. For two. 
They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. He wants a three. He gets that one to fall. Up and inside. And a momentary look from three-point land. And the ball goes out of bounds. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. right now my goodness excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important than the talented guards out there yeah that helps Xavier are on a nice little run at the moment hey that'll keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Puts it up, looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He shoots from long range. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. He's open if he wants the shot. The ball goes out of play. shot clock he shoots from right of the circle great shot the power forward takes the pass in the paint gotta think right now gotta focus defensively Pushes it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Gave it up. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows him to get the crease, the lane, the angle. This will be in complete chaos if this defense can get a stop right here. We didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. With a bucket, they are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Now they work. 
work it around the perimeter on the outside. Nice move with the face up. I tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Moving it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. They're not giving him a chance to get into transition. Great command of the floor. They get that rejected. And the ball goes out of play. Post flasher is open. There's a double team waiting there. Looking for contact. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Put a Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Good job defensively. Here they go into transition. Can. McLeod plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. They're definitely having some fun out there. Gann steps to the line for the first time. Makes the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the trap. He shoots from the top of the key. Way off target. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. out of bounds this crowd is unbelievable tonight oh they're emotional they're packed they're jammed you can't find an empty seat tries for two great play to take that to the basket picked off They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. The Musketeers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That is on fire. There they come with a double team to stop it. Takes it off him. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Shot clock is dead. Working it around the perimeter. He's going nowhere. Ball stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Gonna eliminate those turnovers. Team now, bad angle. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. At the end of the first half, the Musketeers lead by nine. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. is showing some deadly accuracy from the field in the first half. Hey, for sure, Brad, this kind of accuracy can easily be carried over to the second half if they continue to be patient with the rock. Patience and poise usually equals points. 
Start of the second half, Dick, our focus player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I would run them off screens on the right and left. I would set up screens and have them pop out to shoot that trifecta. Postel, pump fakes. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. They've got a player spotting up on the three. back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He puts it in with contact and all. There's the pick. For the bucket. Up! Oh, easy one. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He buries it. Launches the three. Gets it to fall. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And the ball goes out of bounds. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison, Dick. I think, Brad, you always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. Puts up the tray. The Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. <laughs> he goes with a baby hook. The Musketeers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. the perimeter outside jumper the Cougars to find a player who cannot seem to miss Dick they need to keep feeding the ball it's simple steals a pass the ball goes out play well, there's a turnover situation I guess most notable the number of points off turnover well Mr. Nestler that's why you want to take care of the basketball you want to protect it Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Gave it up. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retains possession. He tries the three. Got it. Gives it up. Takes away the pass. Tries for two. They'll work it around the arc. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Up and inside. Up fake. Try to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind. He's flopping, baby. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. On the outside. On the inside. Trying to draw the foul. Jumped in front to take it away.
see if they can get a good shot this trip. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Houston have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Controlling the ball. They strip him of the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. Ante did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. He strokes it. Makes it. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. He dials long distance. Off the rim and no good. to draw the charge and even he has to smile about this one. I'll tell you kidding me that's one of the great acting jobs of all time get him an Oscar they say forget about it and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over and he scores it off the glass Newton is asking the fans for even more encouragement. He wants everyone up for the next possession. There's the fake. Hostel handles the pass. From three-point land, it's no good. They work the perimeter. Got a wide-open look. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He's got an open look for the shot. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle. Goes in. Moving it around the perimeter. Takes the pass and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Postel in the paint. He up fakes. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper on the outside. Ten on the shot clock. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. They've got a three-point shooter spotting up. Nice deal there, but the offense gets the ball back. They'll work it around the arc. Intercepted. This should be an easy bucket. Fires away. Gets it to go. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For two. Up and in. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. 
Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. come up with a steal and they do high post screen so effective that screen that comes off might have been some contact on the shot ball comes back out from the post I tell you Brad you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man the Musketeers have a number of seniors in their lineup. That factor alone will definitely help their cause. Fakes the shot. Tries to get the D to bite. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. The ball goes out of bounds. Tan on the shot clock. High post screen. From three point territory. He knocks down another bucket. Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Let's it fly. Xavier are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Leans in. Great play to take that to the basket. The Cougars trail by nine. For the bucket, it's good. Jumps in, knocks it down. Get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for the foul. He comes away with it. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He can't get the bucket to fall. Picked out of the air. Mr. Nestle, easy bucket coming here. Houston are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. We didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. 
Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Goes up for two. They just can't seem to miss. They found a serious stroke with their shooting, Brad. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Picks off the pass. The center gets the ball. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brown, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. Well, Mr. Vitale, it looks like we're in for a great finish here. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Pump fakes. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure on the basketball. There's the pick. There's the roll. Launches away. The Musketeers have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. The student body is rocking tonight. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Dumps it in. He comes away with it. Postel draws the personal. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. If they can get a score, this place is going to go wild. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Now the high screen for the deuce. Perfectly executed. Absolute mayhem. This place will be in disarray, Dick, if they can get a stop. The Cougars have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Gave it up. Time to pick up the defense here now. Stolen. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Great defense. He fouled him. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Tries for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. Takes the pass in the paint. 
for the bucket. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Momentary look from three-point land. Houston are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Looking for a good shot. Picked out of the air. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Accepts it. From downtown, the Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Intercepted. Pushes it up. Goes up for two. Up. Easy one. That brings the lead to eight points, Dick. But eight points doesn't secure a win at this point, Brad. Up and inside. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. This kid's been nothing short of magnificent on defense. He's creating absolute havoc out there. Here's a double team. around the perimeter. Up and inside! On the outside. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most effective, Brad. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. From three-point range, he hits it. And now it's just a matter, Dick, isn't it a clock management here? It looks like they're going to slow the game down by follow, Brad. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a count to land. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. The bonus situation. Makes the front end of the one and one. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Misses the second shot. Pulls it down. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respects that we're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The point guard gets the pass. And we got a whistle and a foul. There's the turnover situation for the half dick. I tell you, the lower the number, the better off your team will be. With too many turnovers, the likelihood of you playing in the game at the end drops significantly. He goes to the line for the first time. Just like in practice. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. Second shot, good. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. The power forward with the ball. 
tempo of the game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball. I thought he was very aggressive offensively. Xavier loses the game. They had a chance to win this one against a comparable team, but they ended up defeating themselves. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.